started at city council meetings back in January, February. And when it was talked about, there were actually examples used, like we would like to have a mini bucket. We would like to have, like what they have in San Antonio. Paris was used. And then an architectural firm was hired to go ahead and to create renderings. And those renderings de definitely demonstrated the vision that they were sent off to work on was going to require significant high density, not just in housing, but also the, the buildings for business would be going up. And so the biggest issue that I had when talking with those architecture firms was, um, if you're saying this is live, work, play, how many people actually live, work, and play here? And they said 40%, which meant 60% of the people in those original plans were kicking out on the street. And what happened was the citizens started finding out that congestion was going to be an issue, and they were not interested. Also not changing the identity of Johns Creek. Johns Creek is a residential community. That's who we are. That's why many of us moved here. And on the flip side of that, I don't think it's the government's job. That they're saying that Tech Park needs to be enhanced for technology. That's not the government's job to go in and enhance the technology for Tech Park. That's the private developers and the property 